Hey, what's up you guys? Back at it again. It's Friday morning. I had the day off of work, so I figured I'd come in here, do my usual weekly routine, and do something major, which I'll get to it shortly. So let's get to it in here in the clone chamber. Everything is looking lovely. Um, everything's uh, snapping out of whatever rut they were in. Some of them had some leaf curl, um, stuff like this, but it grew out of it. So it's okay. Tamps, we're okay, we're good in here. Um, with the higher tamps coming this summer, we're gonna have to worry about pests in here. So I'll be spraying, hopefully every time I get a chance, every time I'm in here, which is every other day, um, close to that. So moving on down in here, veg chamber. Humidity, temps, we're okay on that. Uh, back there we have, I believe, is a Sour OG, if I'm not mistaken, back there, ready to go into flower. Uh, this is typically how I like them looking, nice and bushy. Uh, not too much foliage going on, just because the first couple weeks of it flowering, it would produce enough uh, fan leaves to sustain itself. Um, moving on to this other smaller Sour OG. Um, that one, as soon as it's... Uh, bigger I'll go ahead and transplant and uh, once that one's out I'll go ahead and do that and here in the two gallon smart pot it's another cyber OG I have some little funk you could tell with the older leaves I'm not exactly sure what happened what was going on but now looking at the new foliage it's looking pretty it's looking all right uh, there's no more uh, deformation or mutation or whatever that was uh, snapped out of it so everything's coming along and mind you we're in here with the CFLs four of them um, like I said coming up this summer it's gonna be warm get pretty hot and usually with the higher temperatures you have pests so I'll be stripping these leaves off or as much as possible spraying trying to keep everything clean that way we have no pest issue and I will spend less time dealing with that. So that's about it for veg. Moving on to flower chamber one under the Viper Spectra 600 LED. Everything's looking lovely. Let's get a little peek in, on that temp. I, I don't know if you guys can see that. So we're good. Like I said, uh, 84, 84 degrees, that's the highest I want it. Even at uh, an 84 degree temps, that um, brings in the bugs. So, like I said, all the spraying and uh, preventative measures are done in veg, never in flower. And everything in here is looking like it's coming along. Multiple bud sites just throughout. Especially with this one and a three gallon smart pot, even the lowers are starting to uh, bulk up, stack up, and uh, they're going to be producing something good. So, that top back there got away from me. It's a little too stretchy, but it's actually filling in nicely. I'm actually quite surprised. I'm not exactly sure with the light spread if we have enough for that cola back there. I might just uh, raise this an inch or two just so we uh, can share the light a little bit more. And uh, for the most part, everything's coming along. I don't know if you guys noticed, but yeah. That's something new, you guys. I'm trying to get all this uh, automated irrigation going on. That way I have more time with the plants, less time dealing with all that hand watering. And um, yeah, I'll show you in a bit. Those are the two uh, spaghetti tubes coming in to that flower uh, chamber. And uh, moving on to the tent, flowering tent under the 900 watt LED Mizey. This one here is a Sour OG looking nice, stacking, frosty, a bunch of white hairs everywhere. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell from, from that angle, but there's plenty of lower buds decent sized lower buds so this one here is um it's going to be a nice producer uh, i'm going to like that one very much 
Mind you, I did start flushing last time I was in here. We gave it a thorough flush of RO water and 3% hydrogen peroxide. That way, two to three weeks uh, to go and I'll be cut down. It'll be nice and clean and smooth smoke. Um, something we can really enjoy. And mind you, this is all medical. Um, I could go on and on about the chirps and the CBDs and CBNs and stuff like that, but this is my personal, this is my medical stash, um, and like I said, now we're just harvesting and uh, and storage, uh, uh, preparing this for long-term storage. Uh, maybe I'll do a video in the near future about that and how I uh, how I go about that. Uh, moving on, back here to this gelato. This one was a stretcher as well. Um, it was kind of in the corner, not getting the right amount of light it should have been. As you guys can tell, it grew a little too much for me. I had a top during flower, which I hate doing, but I also noticed uh, a sour OG that I did top during flower produced chunkier, fatter buds. So I'm not too disappointed. I know that big top cola could have been, you know, nice and fat. Uh, but as far as I can tell, there's a... Uh, like two big big uh, nugs on top to replace it so I'm not too worried about that I'm just trying to keep an even canopy height and therefore we'll have uh, even light distribution uh, among these plants so everything in here looking nice moving on flower tent my Z 600 watt this sour OG same thing as the other one we flushed out and this one as well we have some uh, chunky buds down here and as you guys can tell I kind of really separated this one there's four main colas and I kind of uh, branched them out that way all these lowers down here they have plenty of direct light which I noticed helps a lot I know a lot of people talk about uh, light penetration through fan leaves and multiple fan leaves at that um, I just don't see the lower buds producing uh, the trichomes it's not uh, bulking up how it should so I figured taking out some of those fan leaves or blocking the direct light to the lowers would help and it really is helping and uh, it's really not a whole lot to say uh, results speak for themselves and that way I have a lot less uh, larf nugs and uh, smaller shake pile and more flowers more higher quality flowers uh, back here we have I believe yes it's another sour I mean uh, gelato sorry and this one as well was in the corner so it did stretch out a bit you, if you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see so well it's about, um, about a foot and a half of just stem so that was wasted height uh, as well as time um, because it did veg out for a while so I kind of understand it stretching especially being in the corner but um, on this one instead of topping what I did was bending it softening up the stem tissue uh, rotating it moving all around just kinda, like I said making it a little softer pliable that way I can move it around and bend it over it flopped over uh, I'm actually I'm actually surprised it stayed that way so we saved those top nugs and this gelato is for the most part it's done stretching as you guys can tell there's plenty of bud sites like I said they're getting the uh, direct direct uh, light from the LEDs um, and they're producing little bud sites all around that area um, even back there I don't know if you guys can tell but back there there's not a whole lot just because it's uh, I have that direct light over here in this corner we have a Yoda OG this one for me for the most part is a keeper I have one flowering or it's in a later stage in a flower and it's uh, really everything I'm looking for and uh, in a strain it's short squat bushy it's easy to grow we have pretty nice sized nugs on there which I'll show you the other plant that's further along and for sure I'll be keeping the Yoda OG. I'm not exactly sure what the gelato is stretching on me a little too much. So, I don't know. We'll see whether it's uh, 
the yield is worth it. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, everything in there is coming along. Have some things I was working on, like I said. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, this is the Yoda OG. This one received its flush. Still some moisture in there. I might just go ahead and give it a, about a cup, a cup and a half of RO water just to keep it alive. So you guys can tell. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to put my hand back there. So they're, they're pretty fat. Uh, good sized nugs and this one here I did defoliate I did want to have better light penetration and as you guys can tell the lowers are are nice nug size that won't you know they won't make it into the shake pile they'll be in uh, jars and this one's smelling very strong uh, unlike the sour OG which is more of a delicate uh, subtle smell to it and uh, that one for sure, I can't wait to test it. That Yoda OG is definitely a keeper. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and wait um, a week and a half, two weeks, and that one should be done and out of here and hung up and ready to go. Moving on. We have, uh, what's this one, the, another Yoda OG. Now as you guys can tell, look at that, it's pretty dense. I try to stretch this one out. Uh, stuff like this, I'm just gonna cut off. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of clones, potential clones, and uh, bud sites. There's, um, it's just everywhere, you guys. And the stretching on this, is uh, not as much as the uh, gelato. I'm trying to get a better shot for you guys. Look at that stacking. I mean, it's just growing on top of itself. We're gonna have some nice nugs on this one for sure. And uh, and as well, you guys, it's in a two gallon smart pot, so the roots don't have a whole lot of room to grow in, but it's uh, really kicking some butt in here in the two gallon smart pot. So like I said, Yoda OG is here to stay. And uh, we're under the MyZ 300 watt. It's like a true 130 watt. Temps, humidity, we're on point there. Nothing to worry about. And uh, moving on, you guys. So, this is my reservoir. Can of nutrients in there, being aerated. I have a T-pipe, that way we have two emitters in here, our manifolds, and this one was the old one that kind of set up for the tent. And this four outlet manifold is going to be supplying two four there, two four there. Um, I did test it out, I turned it on, I closed everything off in the tents, that way they don't get more. Uh, nutrients and the others trying to keep everything even and uh, tested it turned it turned it on there was a little leak I fixed that it just this hose needs, needs to be snug all the way to the top um, I usually kind of have a lighter and heat up the uh, tubing just a bit not burning it or anything just heating up uh, higher than the root temperature that way it's pliable and flexible and it just kind of wraps itself around that but unfortunately I didn't have it so um, I'm happy. That means every time I, I come in here, I just have to check watering levels and uh, lifting up pots, making sure they're they're well watered. If not, then I'll just go ahead and give them a little scoop of uh, the nutrients. It's my little cup here, measuring cup. That way, it's a lot easier. I do maybe one or two plants out of all of these. And most of my time is going to be dedicated and veg, like I said, once it starts heating up, I'll be doing a lot of pest uh, preventatives and measurements, so hopefully um, keep everything clean, keep everything clean. And uh, yeah, you guys, that's about it. One thing I am going to be doing shortly after this is uh, 
installing another little, another, uh, little exhaust fan up there. I'm trying to get ready for the heat. I'm going to be dreading it, but you know what? It is what it is. We live in Southern California. And um, I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling I'll survive this summer. If not, some of these tents, uh, chambers, lights, they're going to be turned off for the summer and will continue and uh, resume during winter or cooler temperatures. So, no clones as of now. I'll go ahead and take um, some more clones. I don't know. I'm not really in a hurry. We have enough here and I'm vegging them for a little bit longer than usual. As well as we're not having three, four plants stuffed in here. We're having two. Same thing in here after this one's out. I'm not going to be in a rush to stuff it with another plant. I'll go ahead and just move things around. We'll have two plants in here sharing one light. Uh, same here, just two plants under the 900. That should give each plant plenty of light. And here, so everything's going to be two plants, two, two, two. Uh, that gives a total of eight flowering plants, uh, and that lets us uh, have plenty of plants in veg. And this is all within the legal boundaries of medicinal use, not recreational. Um, of course, I could go to the state and get my, uh, my permit to grow more, get my plant count up, but you know what? I'm okay right now. This is, like I said, all medical. This is all personal. So having two plants in each place, I'm, you know, I'm okay with that. Eight, eight flowering plants, um, about seven to eight weeks to flower. So that means I should have one week being harvested or one plant being harvested uh, roughly every week. So that's enough work for me. One plant a week, that's enough. I'm good with that. Um, just last time when I had to harvest all the other plants, that was kind of uh, a lot of work for me. So everything's looking cool right now. Um, what I'm going to have to do is renew my rec. Um, stay legal under medical as well as my mom. I'm going to go ahead and take her down. I'm not exactly sure when she's able to go, but we're both going to go renew our recs. And like I said, stay legal. So, totally happy about this, you guys. Uh, if you guys are able to, you guys need to definitely do something like that. Um, the only thing I would suggest is be careful. I hate water and, you know, having like to mop it up and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, it, it really does help. It works. Um, it's a time saver. And, uh, like I said, you guys, more time for the other plants, and, uh, that's about it. So, until next time, you guys, uh, stay tuned for all what's happening and all what's going to occur next. And if you guys like the video, you guys like what you see, thumbs up, comment below. And, uh, next time, you guys, until next time, see you guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, you gotta clean up a bit, so I'm out. Enjoy your weekend, you guys.